What's up guys? I got a quick little video for you today, just gonna kind of update you on things. If you haven't seen the general uh, chat uh, uh, section of the Discord or whatever, uh, I did get a job recently, so that's where I've been, why I haven't been uh, making videos or there hasn't been many updates to the server. Uh, it is unfortunate, but it just kind of got to a point in my life where it made the most sense to get a job. Um, just recently been going through a lot of stuff and uh, I think it's going to help me not only financially you know help pay bills but help keep me distracted and uh, moving and you know physically fit so I can you know not gain back a bunch of weight that I lost uh, I think currently I've gained back about f what well, I gained back 50 but then I've lost 20 so so I'm still at 120 down but you can see it's been it's been tough you know I've been struggling with with things in real life um, I don't really want to get into it too much. I, I just wanted to make this video to like update you guys on what's happening. Because if you don't follow the Discord, then you probably have no clue what's going on. So, there's that. So, uh, what it means for the server is, yeah, obviously, that you're going to see a lot less of me. My, my hope is that I can still work on the server, the actual server updates and stuff like that. That's my main focus. It's always been my main focus. Uh, a long time ago, I did a survey uh, where I asked people, like, what do you want the most? Do you want videos? Do you want... Uh, me in game playing the game with you the most do you want updates the most do you want? Uh, promotions and events the most etc 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 I asked a bunch of different questions and it was it was it was hands down updates Like if, if we could do only one thing there's only one thing we can do it's update the game and that makes the most sense to me too Like obviously, you know, what am I gonna make videos on if there's no updates, right? So That's my main focus God Wars 2 is obviously the big one we've been talking about for feels like half a year now uh so yeah that's my main focus right now and i just kind of want to show off some so, so this video isn't totally sad news and totally a bummer i would show off uh finalized the stats and everything so uh so the ice tyrant legs and torso is a mostly range set but it does have a little bit of melee bonus so it is a mage or not mage a melee range set doesn't have the craziest of defensive bonuses either. I think it is best in slot stab. So anything that's going to stab you, this would be best in slot stab defense. Not that defensive stats are, you know, on a private server where you can have infinite prayer and stuff like that and all that. So it's, it's not crazy, but uh, this is what the, uh, the stuff looks like. Uh, and, and when I say finalized, I mean like I'm done with it. If you have feedback, you can obviously provide it and we'll make some changes. But uh, as far as like my my thoughts are done, they're, yeah, that's done. So... We have the crystallized gloves, which again is kind of in tune with the same thing. They're basically like the Titans gloves, but better. Um, they are also uh, meant to be ranged gloves, more specifically than the melee gloves. I believe they're either the same as Titans or just one better. I can't recall, but they're not meant to be better melee. They're only meant to be better range. And then obviously they're high. You know, they have plus for every style, so you can use them. All right. Next up, I'm really happy that I was able to get it. Uh, black. There's still some quirks, as you can see, the undercolor is that light blue, and it does make it look like that way. But honestly, I don't really mind. I think it still kind of looks good. So this is the Blessed Robes. Now, your first thing you're noticing is that the prayer bonus... Well, I don't know if you're noticing. You'd have to, <laughs> you'd have to keep track of that kind of stuff, but... Um, no, I said prayer bonus, but the magic bonus. It is not best in slot magic. It is only best in slot prayer. So my intention is to create... Uh, well, one, I, w I do want a new prayer in the future, but that's just not going to be part of God Wars 2. I'm just... I, 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 I don't have the ability to do a new prayer. That's going to be a heavy, you know, I'm going to have to work with Dark on that. But there is a plan for a new prayer in the future. But I have a couple plans that are going to be based around the a total amount of prayer point or a prayer bonus you have. So uh, having the highest prayer bonus possible is definitely going to be a beneficial thing. And one of those things will come out with the God Wars 2. So you'll immediately, if you get this, let's say the first thing you kill is a Sierra boss and you get this as a drop, you'll immediately be able to, you know, well, <laughs> sort of, because <laughs> you'll have to kill other things to get it, but you know what I mean? Like, you'll, it'll be in-game. It'll be possible in-game to immediately use the prayer bonus for some shenanigans. Uh, and I'll talk about that more probably in a separate video by itself, or maybe I'll just kind of include it with the bosses once the bosses are finalized. Uh, so then we have uh, two weapons right here, which... Um, so the anchor is kind of a tricky one. Uh, with you have these weapons like this, two-handed crush weapons... It's just they're very hard to get them working. So um, one thing that's going to be useful against is the actual boss that drops it. The old boss, the um, the ice people, uh, they're all going to be weak to crush. So this will be a great weapon there. It's going to have a massive special attack that drains their defenses. This is like a Dragon Warhammer spec, so it, it, it'll drain it all. 
And I don't know if you can tell from from this little combat here, but it is actually faster than the anchor used to be. So I believe it is the same speed as a longsword. So it is faster, uh, and it has a lot more power, and um, like I said, the special attack will drain its defenses. So This one is probably going to be tricky, might need a lot more buffs in the future just to get it working, because you know, like I said, two-handed crush weapons are kind of awkward. So we have another one right here, the Gatter Hammer, and it's kind of on the same logic here. You're looking at these stats, pretty good, pretty solid. It's a, it is essentially a Granite Maul to the max, but the caveat is if you say, yeah it is really really sh i believe the number right now is actually boosted just so i could t prove that it worked let me double check and see if that's the actual number yeah, i hope it's not because i just i just one hit that thing with no <laughs> stats on. no that was that was the final number i decided on so that might be really really yeah i'm gonna have to change that because that's we just we had no gear on and we just one shot it. So basically, it's really, really strong against monsters. It's if you remember the Shadow Sword from Soul Split, it was a spec weapon that was only good against monsters, and that's how it works. Unfortunately, you cannot kill yourself. Uh, like you can't attack yourself on the same IP. So I, I have not been able to test this efficiently with uh, PvP to make sure it works. So uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to update the server at some point, randomly teleport to someone in the wilderness, and hopefully not one shot them. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm pretty confident that the code works, and it should only be very good against monsters. It'll obviously be a you know a strong spec weapon against people, but it won't be one shot a guard strong. So this one, it, yeah, it's more of a spec weapon, uh, but it, it should have some you know fun little caveat niches. Sierra's blessing, just you know, it's a it's a um, it's a what's, a, what's a, ammo slot that gives you. A range and magic bonus with uh, some nice prayer bonus. I might give it sh it's stab too and all that crush and all that. I might give it like plus two to all offensive bonuses, but yeah, it's a because I mean the plus two range isn't really gonna help unless you're using like blowpipe, which I suppose you know eh, yeah I'll have to I'll probably have to make that a little bit better because now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so uh, and it, I, I'll probably also try to give it some sort of quirk. Or, or like special effect when you have it equipped. I'm still trying to, you know, workshop it with the rest of the stuff, but uh, I guess that one isn't finished. I'll put that closer down here. So we have Sliske's Shadow, or uh, Sliske's Essence, I should say. So this is the actual thing that you'll get as a drop, Sliske's Essence. And then if you combine it with the Heart and the uh, Eye, you'll eventually be able to make Sliske's Shadow. This is from Classic. You should be pretty familiar with it. And yeah, it was made a lot of sense to incorporate it here. The Staff of Balance is uh, a really, really, really good magic staff. With uh, You can see the plus 25% magic damage. It can use Ancients, but it also has this nice little boner effect. If you look at the runes, I believe it has a 75% chance to not use any runes. I believe it's 75. 75. Which means, like... Ah, oh, there, see, yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted to make sure I didn't make it 100. Because I think I was originally going to make it 100, but then I just decided that if it was 100, uh, then that would negate the runes entirely. And that, this essentially does too, but, I mean, it's not like runes are ever a thing on, you know, private servers, but I think the requirement of runes is, uh, you know, is, is required. I'm also thinking about maybe just, uh, like, if you have any other changes, I'm thinking about maybe making a, make a special weapon. Uh, magic weapons are kind of tough because obviously you want it to be like a trident or a trident type weapon that would give it the, the, you know, the most power but I don't really want to do that uh, we already have Ixor and Scepter and I want this to kind of like I, I, I want them to all all the magic weapons to kind of serve different purposes and different niches because uh, if you remember there's also the Sanguine SD staff that we don't have either so uh, kind of tricky to get them all working in I think at some point we'll probably have some like super in game staff and it'll just require all the other staffs combined so that'll like that'll make every staff useful because you'll at least need it for the super staff uh, last up we have the Hex Hunter crossbow this could be very 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 good very very game changing I still have to test it more to see but it is a crossbow around the power of an armadillo crossbow but it also has the twisted bow effect so it does more damage based uh, against monsters that have a uh, higher magic attack so uh, they can see there's the range and then of course you can use dragon bolts and stuff with it you can use any i believe you can use any bolt with it so yeah uh, or some ruby bolt specs i don't even know how that's gonna work i really don't but i am very curious to see 
So the shield isn't done yet, but it'll basically just be the best in game, uh, the best in slot shield. Like it'll have strength bonus, range bonus, magic bonus. It'll, it'll be your your in game shield. Uh, and then we have the last thing here, not the blowpipe, but what the blowpipe stores, the shadow darts. So these things are actually pretty uh, strong as darts, but I don't really expect people to uh, like if you make darts, they gotta be in the blowpipe, right? Everybody, you know, everybody wants to put them in a the blowpipe, so. They also work in the blowpipe, and you can. I'm just gonna get fucking murdered by this guy. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can, I mean you can see they're very very strong. Might need some more tweaks and stuff like that to make them work. They're kind of a weird item because they're really strong outside of the the um, blowpipe, and then the blowpipe makes them strong too. So yeah, that's. But it, luckily, blowpipe can't be used on players, so it's really not a concern if it's overpowered or anything. If it's only good against monsters, so we'll have to see, we'll have to figure it out. But yeah, you'll uh, you'll get the shadow darts from Sliske. Um, that's pretty much it on the items. Uh, the only other items you really need to know about are the well, these things right here is what you'll make the shield out of. But I, I believe I've already talked about that, so there's nothing new. Uh, but what has been finished when this is one of the harder things I was working on. I still have a lot of work to do, so it's by no means finished. But we're getting there. So this is kind of how. The, 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 the God Wars work. Imagine this room right here. Bunch of monsters. Obviously monsters from different kinds of crews. So, you know, um, skeleton mages will be for Zaros or some shit. And some, you know, some desert-themed things for Sierra. Some ice-themed things for Ol. Some Guthix-themed things for Guthix. Etc, etc. You know how God Wars works, right? And they'll all drop keystones uh, for their respective unit. And then they'll also, like, you'll have the ability to, like, change keystones. There'll be a, um, a book that you can, you can use Invention to change keystones. So you can technically just kill whatever you wanted, but, you know. You kill Suskes, you get one of these, boom. Are you sure you want to enter his domain? Yes. And you'll remember this is currently the Joker event from, from one of that event. So it's got to be cleaned up a little bit. But, yeah, we are uh, we are almost there. Uh, the bosses are the last thing that needs to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to finish up the bosses when I can. I have two uh, days off coming up this week. So my plan is to get a lot of work done on one of those days. And my hope is to have an update out every month. Uh, ideally at the beginning of the month. But it looks like you know we're kind of past that point now. Um, so... Either I'll just wait till July 1st and release it July 1st, or I'll release it when it's done, and then we'll, uh, you know, just go from there. But as far as weekly events, it's obviously going to be a lot harder to get weekly events active and going. I mean, already with when the, you know, when I didn't have a job, it was kind of tough to get them, you know, going. So the plan is to do three monthly events. So, like, we'll basically just take what we would have done for the week, but it'll be for the entire month, and there'll be three things going at once every month. So we'll still try to do events. And then hopefully we'll try to work, um, you know, work more abilities and powers into the, the staff so the staff can host more events while I'm not there. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to, you know, contact you guys, let you know that I'm still alive, what's what's changed. Uh, and, and I do expect things to be, you know, slower for, for the first couple of weeks, hopefully not months. But uh, I think once we get God Wars 2 out, that's six bosses, all solo bosses. You don't need teams because team team content is kind of tough to get, especially when the server's, you know, slow and, and, and doesn't have a lot of player count. So six bosses, all solo content with tons of stuff to work towards. I think it should be a lot of fun, and it'll hopefully give us a month, the month of July, to work on some more stuff. Uh, I think at that point we'll probably settle down and try to go for more bug fixes and quality of life stuff as opposed to big content things. But we'll just see. I think there's still a lot of stuff from old school we're missing. Like the clues stuff is people keep m mentioning. I'm, I'm very aware of and, you know, I'm working on it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you soon.